Hey guys, this is Alicia from MobilityMastery.com and I'm going to show you how to release the fascia in your hamstrings using a lacrosse ball instead of a foam roller. And if you happen to have a gym membership or access to a gym, you can make this a lot more effective if you can get your hands on a giant, uh, let's say 45 pound or more plate like I have right here. But I'm going to show you how to use it without that and then show you what I do to use that to make it more effective. Um, so I'm going to place this lacrosse ball under my hamstring while sitting. And you want um, to find either a chair or a bench that has enough room for your leg to kind of um, freely hang down. Um, probably the best spot you're going to find is going to be a little bit more laterally or out to the edge of that hamstring, but it might be the belly of it too. Um, but for me, I know it's kind of on the outside there. So I'm going to find a good spot and then kind of just try to put my weight into that ball or that leg. I'm going to flex my foot, this left one, so I get the best stretch possible. And then I'm going to start moving and your choices are basically flexing and extending at the knee or straightening and bending. And then you can do a zigzag by rotating out and in. You want to make sure that that ball doesn't move a lot, so if you need to hold it in place. Remember the point of um, fascial release is to pin something and then stretch it. So we're not trying to massage the muscle back there, we're actually trying to stretch the fascia. So I'm going to hold that in place. That's better right there. Um, minimally effective this way, it's definitely better than just, let's say, rolling on the ball on the floor with a straight leg. However, <laughs> If you can get your hands on a plate <coughs> and stick that on top, it's going to look really weird, but that is so much more painful right now, so I know it's going to be a better stretch. I'm just going to hold that plate on there and do the same thing. So straightening, bending, rotating. This plate wants to move with me, so you're going to try to just kind of hold it on top of that ball. I like straightening and bending the most, I think, because that lacrosse ball kind of stays in place. But that's how you can release your hamstrings using a lacrosse ball. If you can get your hands on a plate, great. But if not, give it a try and let me know how it goes for you.